Left eyebrow of the challenger Thomas Top Dog Williams. You'll see it when we get in close. Our referee Michael Griffin in between rounds looked over and told us he ruled that was from a punch, not a headbutt. To my eyes, it looked like Williams Jr. was claiming that that damage was done by a headbutt. Well, that damage was done by a low blow, which sends Top Dog down to a knee, and Michael Griffin will give him the time required to recuperate. You got a minute. Come on. Good call, left right. hand. Okay, let's you know go. how brutal that left Time hand in. is. That one's gonna hurt. Time in, I did. I did. Time in, don't worry about it. Box, keep him up, Adonis. <laughs> That's a result of Adonis Stevenson going oh. to the body a bit more. Nice hook. These guys are throwing. They're opening up. They are not thinking about scorecards. They're both thinking about a knockout right now. If Top Dog gonna fight like this, he's gonna have to land something big because those uppercuts is, is, is really destroying his eye. Oh, good body shot by the champ. There's a cut underneath the eye. Damage on the top of the eyebrow for Top Dog and damage underneath the eye as well. Adonis is going with the uppercut, he's going with the body shot. He knows Williams is doing well reading that straight left, so he's pulling other tricks out of his bag. A lot of body work, a lot of inside work. A beautiful shot. Liver punch will take it right out of here. Those that of you joining you. us at the 11 o'clock Eastern Box. Hour, the light heavyweight championship of the world is on the line. The man in the gold trunks, Adonis Superman Stevenson, holds the belt. Thomas Top Dog Williams Jr., the challenger, had exchanged huge blows through three rounds of change. Here in the fourth, we've already seen a knockdown for Superman in round number one. Williams Jr. came back to afflict some punishment in the second and third. But Stevenson, his best weapon has been an uppercut here. The man, is he ripping to the body? I'm talking about he's focusing on that body. But you gotta take your head off to Thomas Williams. He's, he's facing a strong, big, strong man in there tonight. And it doesn't seem like anything is affecting Adonis Stevenson right now. A good left hand again. He's and an uppercut, just a body shot, down. another body shot, and another by Superman. Oh! And that could be it. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Stevenson didn't even it need to see the count. It won't be is right. over. Superman retains the championship belt. Williams Jr. took all he could handle, uppercuts, body shots, they wore him down for that beautiful left hand. Hey guys, he was just outmanned tonight. It wasn't that he wasn't in the fight, he just was in there with a stronger, bigger puncher tonight. Superman, Adonis Stevenson, man, great job. It was a war <laughs> from start to finish. No kryptonite tonight. I'll tell you what, guys. I know yep. that light heavyweight division like none other. Take a look at the replays of the fatal blow, guys. We knew which side it would come from. The left hand looking at here. Was that not a six-inch punch? Beautiful close-range shot. And Williams drops right to his knees. You drop face down. Wow. Nine times out of ten, that's all she wrote. Look at it here. Timing. Not a lot of wind-up on Timing, timing, bang. Perfect shot. Williams came in with the uppercut on the other side. Left him wide open, bang. Listen, Thomas Williams may not be the biggest knockout puncher, but for Donna Stevens to take those type of shots and still have this type of power, I don't know what light heavyweight can stand in front of that. He says it's the best left hand in the world. It just earned him another victory. The crowd 
loved every punch and every round. He goes to 28 and one.